steak fajitas with all the toppings. Hello, welcome to the Nook. I'm James from Zimmy's Nook, and I'm here today to talk about the Uni Coda 60. It's one of my favorite ways to cook outdoors. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of some of the features and benefits that I really like about it. The reason it's called the 16 is it's got a 16 inch stone in it. Great for big pizzas, but also so versatile for many other dishes. I've cooked steaks, lobster, obviously some delicious pies. The other great thing about this, it has an option for a natural gas fitting if you want to hook it up permanently. I'm using a 20 pound propane tank, which is also what I use on my other barbecues. The Uni has a great lighting mechanism. It's just a push in and turn. If we look on the inside, we'll now be able to see the L-shaped burners. Yeah, it's starting to get hot. We're about 750 in the corner there. And then out here in this corner, we're sitting around 500. And right in the middle, we're up to about 650. Great thing about that is you can have different cooking zones inside the oven. So Uni offers a lot of uh, great accessories to make cooking easier. One of the uh, best is their line of cast iron here. So they've got the Grizzler pan, skillet, great handles, and then they have the dual-sided Grizzler, which is my favorite. I'm gonna use the flat side so I get a nice sear on the steak. Grizzler pan has been in the oven for a few minutes now. I'm gonna check the temperature. We're up to about 600 degrees. I like that for searing a steak. We've got two strip loin steaks. I've cross hatched them a little bit, seasoned them well. Got a good marinade on them for about two and a half hours. So the two handles fit in really securely. Just make sure that they're in there good. You don't want to drop a hot, hot cast iron. Gonna move them a little bit to the right hand side. And when I flip them, they'll change positions so they cook evenly. All right, give that a quick flip. Nice sear on that. So I switch sides, but then I also want to turn the direction so that both ends get an even sear. Oh, look at those, a thing of beauty. These are gonna go inside and rest for a bit while we cook up the veggies. So for the onions, I don't wanna just sear them off too fast. I want them to cook down a little bit. So I'm gonna turn the flame down as low as it can go. The onions are ready to go. Again, I'm gonna be sitting that off a little bit to the right so that it cooks a little slower. Onions are looking delicious. We're gonna throw on our peppers now, turn up the heat a little bit, and finish this off. We'll turn the uni back up. We'll let the flames do the work. I think it's just a minute more. The steak is here, and it looks really, really good. Nice bit of pink. I know a lot of people like their fajita steak to be browned all the way around. I went with the strip loins because I still like a little bit of pink and moisture. You're killing me already, this looks so good. And then excuse me while I indulge. Sour cream sriracha, a little bit of the guacamole, pica de gallo, of course a little cilantro. I'll grab a few peppers, a couple of onions, and two beautiful slices of meat. And I'm a happy boy.